Hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new to my channel. Today we're doing some more Danessa Myrick's just glossy goodness today. I've got all of her products all over my face, and I'm just obsessed with her products, um, and her, just her as a makeup artist. She's an incredible makeup artist, she's a photographer, and if you have not checked her out, um, I will link all of her information down below. But she's just so incredible. And when you watch her videos, you just you just want everything that she's using. And that's kind of what happened. So um, I picked up a few more things from my local, uh, it's called Camera Ready Cosmetics. It's a store in my area and they sell Danessa Myricks. Otherwise, you can get it on Beautylish or off of her website, of course. Um, but I picked up a few new things, uh, including her illuminating veil, one of her color fix foils, and then where did the other product go? I also picked up her foundation and concealer, and then we're also going to be using her waterproof cream palette, which I've already had, and uh, you'll know I already love this a ton. So I put all of these products all over my face, and I'm just so smitten with this brand. And um, I'm so excited that I have gotten to try not only a new brand, but just a new way of doing makeup and just a different, different techniques and just a different type of makeup product. These products are truly just so unique and different and I love that. So that's what we're doing today. Uh, of course, as always, grab yourself something to drink. I've got some water, a little boring today, um, but I've got some water and let's go ahead and get into it. So I already did a little bit of skin prep. I just used Glossier's Future Dew on my entire face and then I took uh, the same Wa High Shine lip gloss and applied that to my lips to prep my lips and that is it. So we're gonna, oops, we're gonna go ahead and just dig straight into all of the Danessa Myricks products. Um, and I have to say that I have been thoroughly enjoying her brand, um, her products, and just watching her tutorials and videos. It's just been so inspirational. To start off the skin, I am gonna take her Illuminating Veil. She has several shades of this. I chose this shade Serenity because I wanted something that was quite similar to my skin tone. I didn't want it to be too light and icy um, or too pink or too bronzy. I wanted something that was pretty close to my skin. Um, so I think this is a pretty good match for me. So I'm gonna first pump it onto my hand and then I'm just gonna take this. This is an MOTD Get Cheeky With It. And I'm just going to prime my brush really well with that product and just sweep this across the high points of my face. Now this product definitely has glitter in it, but there is something so magical about it to where it doesn't look too artificial or metallic. Um, it definitely just makes the skin look super glossy and wet. So if you are wanting something a little bit more natural, you can apply it underneath your foundation like I'm doing today. You can even mix in a little bit with your foundation and that'll kind of subdue the uh, intensity. I am gonna be taking this on top of my foundation as well just because I love this product so much and it's just so, so pretty. But it is definitely a quite intense highlight. So just something to keep in mind, but I don't mind it and I am not a metallic strobing highlighter person and I actually really enjoy this. So that's what it looks like on the back of my hand. As you can see, it's quite intense. This is not like a barely there, oh, you look like you just got done with yoga. No, this is intense, but I mean, it's stunning. And if you ever watch any of her tutorials and when she applies this, the skin just looks so balmy and wet and juicy and yeah, that is definitely true. All right, so we're gonna set this aside for now. We will be revisiting this in a little bit. So I did pick up her Vision Cream Cover. So this is a really interesting product. It's a foundation and concealer in one. It comes in two types of packaging. So you can buy it in this type of packaging that looks like a concealer, or you can purchase it in the full size, 
uh, it comes in like a silver tube or something like that, a silver pump. So it's the same product, just in a different packaging. So I thought since I'm trying it out, I'm gonna get the smaller size and see what I think. It is also supposed to be super, super full coverage. So I feel like with a product like that, maybe just getting the smaller size might be better anyway. So a little bit of this goes a long way. It's extremely concentrated and it's also very, very thick. So I'm gonna take this off the back of my hand. I got the shade number four, which is actually perfect for me. I was not sure at all what shade to get for myself. So I just kind of guessed. And number four is actually a really nice shade. So I'm just applying a little bit to the back of my hand. I'm gonna take my finger again, very, very thick consistency. And I'm just going to start dabbing this on the areas where I need the most coverage. And a little goes a long way. So I'm just taking a tiny bit on my finger and I'm gonna work in light layers and then just kind of add as I need to. So um, I prefer this product with my fingertips or with a sponge. With a brush, I find it can be a little heavy or a little, it's, it's easier to go a little overboard and heavy handed with a brush. And I find with a sponge, you really cannot mess this up and your fingertips is also a really great way to blend this out. So I'm just gonna start blending this out. As you can see with the tiny amount that I applied, this is full coverage, super, super full coverage. Really, really pretty though, not too cakey, even though it is such a thick formula, it's actually not cakey at all. And then I'm just gonna take whatever is left over on the back of my hand with my sponge and just apply where I need a little bit more coverage. And I'm using this as a concealer and a foundation. So I'm not gonna go in with a concealer because this is this has such great coverage. So now I'm gonna go into her waterproof, waterproof cream palette. This is the Essentials palette. I'm gonna dip into Essential 2 and Essential 3. And I'm gonna use those to kind of contour slash bronze the skin. All right, and then I'm gonna dip into Essential 2 on an angled brush, and I'm gonna use that to kind of define my nose a little bit. And I'm gonna take a little bit along my lip line as well. All right, and then just to clean up my contour a little bit, I'm gonna go back in with the pen, and I'm just gonna take that right underneath and then I'm just going to use the same sponge and blend that out. Now I've been getting a lot of questions about whether or not Dennis and Myricks is a clean brand. They're not marketed as a clean brand. They don't market themselves as a clean brand. So I would just encourage you to look into the ingredients and kind of decide for yourself. Um, I know some of her creams, uh, these artificial colors like her cream palette uses artificial colors and silicones. Um, so I would definitely just kind of look into the ingredients, see what you're comfortable with. Um, but you know, it's, it's completely, completely up to you and I don't want to tell you whether or not it's clean or not. I'm comfortable using it, but my standard of clean is probably going to be different from you. So, um, just something to think about, you know, uh, definitely go on her website, look through all the products, look at the ingredients and see what you're okay with using and just make the best decision for yourself. So, um, that's what I would say in terms of it being clean or not. All right, so I am not going to do blush yet because I'm gonna be using this palette on the eyes and the cheeks, and I'm gonna wait and do my blush after my eyes, but I am gonna go back in with her illuminating veil. I'm gonna take a little bit more on my hand, and I see her do this all the time, and this is just where the magic happens. It's when she takes some kind of dewy, glossy cream and then just goes on top of the foundation and on top of the skin. And when the light hits it, it's just like, oh my goodness, like glazed donut, glossy editorial goodness. It's so, so beautiful. All right, so really quickly before moving on to the eyes, I'm gonna do my brows really quickly and then I've got an amazing eye product to show you. I'm also gonna be using her palette on my eyes 
and um, I'm really excited about this part. So I'm gonna do my brows really quickly and then I'll be right back. All right, so for the eyes, I'm gonna start with her cream palette and I'm gonna take this shade, which I actually love to use as a blush. This is the shade Essential 4 and I'm gonna take it on a Real Techniques base shadow brush. You only need the tiniest bit. These are super, super pigmented. And I'm just gonna work this across my lid and then start to blend this through the crease. This is gonna be a really simple eye look, but it's gonna have very high impact, which I am all about simple yet powerful. So I'm just taking this all across the lid, through the crease, and I like to take my shadows pretty high just because of my eye shape. So I'm gonna take it basically to my brow. I'm gonna go in with an angled brush with that same shade, and I'm gonna run this along my lower lash line. I'm gonna go back in with that blending brush and just blend it out. Now, I have not applied any powders to the face. I feel like with the foundation, I don't need to powder it. It sets down very, very nicely. Um, but if we need to go in with powder later on, I'd rather do that after the eyes in case we need to clean anything up. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with a clean brush. This is a Real Techniques Deluxe, Deluxe Crease Brush, no product on it. And I'm just gonna soften the edges of my shadow. And also not doing powder helps because then you can go in and clean anything up with concealer if you need to. You don't have to worry about working on top of powders. But I find that just a clean brush does the trick. I don't really need to add any additional product. All right, so now for the fun part, I did pick up one of her Color Fix foils. Um, so this is the, it's a liquid glitter for the lips, cheeks, and eyes. She has so many of these. She has the foiled ones, and then she has matte ones. She's got a shade for everyone. Um, and then you get a, oh my gosh. <laughs> You get a ton of product too because you only need the tiniest bit. So I got the shade Alien just because I thought this color was so cool and so different. So that is what Alien looks like. It's like a peachy pink with a green, kind of goldish green shift to it. So I'm actually gonna go in with that same base shadow brush. I'm just gonna take it off of my hand and I'm gonna start patting this on top of that cream base. I'm just gonna build this up in layers and intensify it as I need to. And I have found with working with these uh, color fix foils, if you use wiping motions, you're gonna get more of that base pigment, you're gonna get more of that color. If you do more patting motions, you're gonna get more of that kind of just separated glitter. So just whatever effect that you're going for, I'm kind of doing a mixture of both. I'm swiping and then I'm just pressing. And these do set down quite quickly, so work one eye at a time. All right, and then while we're here, I'm gonna take that same shade that I used all over the eyes, which is Essential 4. Tap off the excess. I'm gonna pop that on the cheeks. Take a little bit up to my forehead too. All right, so I just applied a little bit of mascara. I am gonna take a little bit of loose powder. This is the Lawless Seal the Deal Loose Setting Powder. And I'm going to set my under eyes because my mascara is transferring a little bit. So I'm just going to kind of make this less wet right here. But I'm going to leave the rest of the skin because I love the way the skin looks. For the lip, I'm just going to take a little bit of lip liner. This is the Victoria Beckham Lip Definer in 05. And then I'm gonna take a little mixture of two and four and see what kind of lip I can make out of that. I may take one if I need to lighten it up a bit. Ooh, I really like this lip and it's very monochromatic because we're using the same shades on our eyes as our cheeks, as our lips. Oh, this formula is so good. It's so multifunctional. You can literally do an entire makeup look 
with just this. It's so, so good. All right, actually, I'm gonna take a little bit of gloss. This is Persona's Honey. All right, guys, so that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this inspires you. And again, I would just highly encourage you, if you're not sure about her products, definitely go look at her ingredients and just kind of decide for yourself if you're comfortable with using them. And because I think her products are fantastic. I know this is not a clean brand, but I'm okay with the ingredients and I'm so glad that I've discovered just some of my favorites right now. Like these products are so, so good and they perform so well and they look beautiful. Um, this is going on my face and body every single day. This is absolutely incredible. I love this. It is gorgeous. You get a ton of product and it's so, so beautiful. I love the way this looks on my skin. So um, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching as always. And remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.